Hello guys, this is Pawan from Programmer Stack and today we are going to learn how to find factorial of a given number using recursion. So, open Dev C++. Okay, now press Ctrl plus N for new file or you can also uh, create it from here. You can see it says new file. Okay, so now add line hash includes dot h Now we are writing our main function and we have to declare some variables like I am declaring some integer type variable. So I am writing int n comma i comma k. I think that's enough. Now we have to take input from the user. That means the number whose factorial we want to calculate. So I am writing percent d for uh, integer and whatever value user input I will store that value in the variable n. So now, what we are going to do is we are calling a function called fact n. That means we are sending the this number n to the function fact. So now we have to de uh, declare this function fact because we want to calculate the factorial using recursion and recursion is a technique in which a function calls itself. That means you can see here we are writing, now we have to declare like mean we have to declare this function fact. So I will be writing int n that means this number n will be sent here and we have to declare its type so it's the integer type so I am writing fact n. Now in the fact I will write if n equal to equal to 0 or n equal to equal to 1 that means if the value of n is 0 or 1 so we know that factorial of 0 and 1 is 1 so we will return 1 that means if the value is 0 or 1 then 1 will be returned over here that means in fact n again if this is not the case that means if the value of n is not 0 or 1 it is something else like 2, 5, 10, 100 etc then we will return n into fact of n minus 1 so here we can see if the value is something else from 0 and 1 we will be returning n into fact n minus 1 that means if the value is 5 so we will be returning 5 into uh, factorial of 4 so this is again calling the fact function and in this way it will uh, recalling the fact function till the value is 0 or 1 so it will return 1 in this case it is not calling the function fact so when the value reaches 1 it will return 1 and the factorial will be called up to that time so now we are done over here so whatever value will be returned here we will be storing it in j so value returned by this function fact over here we will store this value in the variable j and we just have to simply print this value j so we are printing the value of j and we are writing percent d factorial is equal to percent d slash n comma j so as you can see so this is our function fact and this is our function main so now we have to run it we have to save it before compiling it so I am writing fact recursion.c so it is showing 0 error 0 warning save so now we have to run our program I am running it from here so I am entering a value let's say 5 and it is showing 120 that is factorial of 5 is 120 so which is absolutely correct now again enter another value let's say 6 6 okay so it is showing 720 which is also correct so in this way we can see again enter a value let's say 0 it is showing 1 because when the value of n is 0 our function is returning 1 so that's why we are getting 1 so in this way we can see we can find the value of a uh, factorial of a number using recursion so this is our function pack it's a recursion so that's all thanks a lot if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe button uh, goodbye.